Hey y'all, it is Friday and it's a super nice day. One of the nicest days we've had thus far and I'm trying to take advantage of the weather because tomorrow is also supposed to be super nice and we wanna do some sealing of some parts of the roof. And in order to do that, I need to wash it, but I want it to dry. So I'm going to wash the roof right now, at least part of it so that it can kind of be drying this afternoon over tonight so that when we come out tomorrow, it's dry, spick and span, and we can do the things we wanna do. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, it's starting to get cold, but we've got a lot done. Check it out. So as you just saw on the little time lapse, we've got kind of this back area mostly done. And I wanted to start here because today I ordered our solar panels, which is huge. I've been kind of in analysis paralysis for a long time, trying to figure out which ones to get and a little bit nervous that we were making the right choice, etc. But finally pulled the trigger on those last night. There's going to be two solar panels here. There's going to be two here. And so in order to get ready for that, we want this nice and clean. I'm also kind of just been going for it and I'm just trying to get as much of this done as possible. The only part I haven't cleaned is kind of this area here. I'm going to finish this up and then we're, then we're done for the day. Okay, just came in from washing the roof. I ended up just powering through and washing the whole thing. So you can kind of see, probably not, but it is looking nice. It was very, very dirty, but we got that done. It's Friday night. Megan's in here making dinner. I'm going to get cleaned up and try and help. And we're going to hit it tomorrow, Saturday, for a weekend full of fun RV stuff. Hi, huh, Emmer. Yeah. Nice. Okay, it's Saturday morning. You saw yesterday we cleaned the roof. Let me show you. It looks fantastic. Look how nice that looks. We're gonna try and do some stuff up there today. We also have a lot of other things to do. You wanna mm -hmm. show them the schedule? Mm -hmm. Look at this. <laughs> this schedule is literally as tall as Megan is. Pretty much. I mean, yeah. this Pretty isn't good. the whole thing even, but it's a good shot. We put together a schedule of kind of what we think is all the remaining work. It's kind of broken down, you know, fabrication items, dining area, bathroom. The items in yellow are things that we're gonna try and tackle this weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, the little asterisks here, are like maybe the things that we're gonna try and tackle today. As you can see, we have our work cut out for us. Brett spent a lot of late night time putting this construction level schedule together. Yeah, you, <clears throat> we kind of tried to, to load it between Megan and I. So the way that this is scheduled out is most of these things are just occurring on Saturdays and Sundays, because that's really the only time that we have to do stuff. We tried to estimate the number of hours it would take us to do various things. And then we like effort loaded it between Megan and I, assuming like a 9 a.m. to 5 p.m work time, which we don't really ever achieve because we don't typically get started until like 10 or 11, but it's what, 10.30 today? Yeah. So we're ahead of schedule. Also behind schedule by an hour and a half according to this. <laughs> but, but, but it's all right. And Brett's being generous and he says we did all of these things because we didn't do any of them. Brett, Brett did all of this. No, no, like we, we, we scheduled some stuff together. No, we did it. <clears throat> so this is going to be kind of, this is just a draft I wanted to print so that we had it for this weekend. The area that we, that I haven't done yet is like the main living area. I've got, you know, the bedroom, we got Emmy's loft, the kitchen. So that's all looking pretty good. A few of the things that we want to try and accomplish in the nice weather is we really want to try and finish this, the like trim molding. We want to do some painting things. There's some things on the roof we want to do. Um, let's see, we wanna try and do some gluing of felt to cabinet interiors. That needs to happen on the back deck and they, it needs like 70 degree weather. So those are the things that we're gonna try and tackle. We'll see how far we get down this list. Ready to hit it? I'm ready to hit it, absolutely. 
We're outside, we're getting set up. Emerson is doing some really cool road drawing. Drew a whole city. You can hear Mama. He's out there in the motorhome prepping the bathroom for wallpaper and ceiling paint, which is awesome. We're also doing some painting prep here. Kitchen cabinet, lower cabinet. We did, we did a first coat just kind of by hand, but now we're gonna spray it. But not with the big sprayer. This is my little kind of handy dandy sprayer that works pretty well. I actually did our whole picket fence. You can see this white picket fence up there. It goes all the way around the front of the house. Painted all that with this thing. So we got two good coats on this thing. I think it came out pretty well. It, I mean, I know it's probably hard to tell. It definitely is not perfectly smooth. It definitely has like a roar texture to it. Emmy's over here doing all kinds of stuff. I gotta wash the paint supplies real quick. And then we're gonna head out and we're gonna remove the front gnarly piece of trim that we think there's major water damage situation. So stay tuned for that. We're going to now get into something that we've been, I would say dreading because we're a little bit afraid of what gonna is gonna happen. You've seen us, we've been replaced, cleaning and replacing the screws on all this side trim. We've pretty much completed everything. There's this piece that has a ton of rust water damage. So this is the last big one. And we're a little bit afraid that there might be some serious leaking water damage situation. So we're gonna take this thing off. We'll show you what the what the situation is. It Wish is, us luck. It is not really looking good. There's, I mean, there was rusty brown water draining out of all of this, and these screws are completely rusted. So we're a little bit nervous about what could be happening in there. But we're, we're gonna, gonna find out. we're gonna take this off. And we're gonna we're gonna see. Okay. Look at the look at the screws we're getting out of here. All of them that we've pulled out of here are like that. That's not looking great, huh? There's also you can see. Look at this. This thing didn't it wasn't even covering the actual joint. They installed it like too far back, or this thing over time has just kind of moved apart. So if we're not able to reinstall this thing so that it adequately covers this joint, we're gonna have to do something else. How's it going over there? Okay. Fine. I mean, you know, slow, but fine. Okay. What are you doing? Getting up on TV. Nice. We got the thing off. Megan's going to clean out the old butyl. I love this job. You can still see this texture is from the wax paper when it's on the roll. The fact that this texture is still there tells us that this was never actually never there, compressed yeah. against the top. We've got we got the whole thing off. We've kind of been cleaning it. Megan's up still working on like removing a lot of the old sealant here. We're gonna try and get this kind of all cleaned and then we'll start the reseal process, which we don't, we haven't, I don't know. I guess we haven't really figured that out yet, huh, Bev? But we're gonna do something there. In the backyard, I'll show you what else is going on here. Megan cut out felt pieces for all of these. These are the interior cabinet base, like bottoms and sides. I'll show you that later. But we wanted to, instead of painting them, I got a bunch of free felt. And so we're going to, we're going to glue felt here. So I've got a whole gallon of rubber cement. We're using a foam roller and that'll be a nice finished product inside the cabinets and it will also i think just like sound dampen stuff so if things are like rattling around it won't be as noisy <music> so this is the felt that we are going to put on it's actually super nice thick felt it's about an eighth inch thick megan's got them all cut out slightly larger so we can kind of just trim it down we 
we just finished the felt panel glue operation. Those turned out great. Megan has kind of finished cleaning these. We've got these screws off. You kind of see this thing is out. Our master plan is for under here, you can see we've got the green laser set up right there. We're going to put a strip of this Eterna bond tape across that. And then we're going to reinstall the piece of trim. This may be a terrible idea, but we don't really have any other ideas. We did a lot and it wasn't filmed because the camera, the phone died, but, and it was also, it was pretty gnarly out here. <laughs> but we got this trim back installed. All in all, I think it worked out pretty well. We originally tried to put it up here, but it looked terrible and Megan- yeah, we couldn't. I couldn't, I had to put the kibosh on it. It looked really bad. Yeah, so we, we cut this back and took that off and I think that's the right call. I mean, it's not ideal. It's also if you step, you know, yeah. step back here, like that's not something that you're really gonna notice. You yeah. Just the side of it and... Yeah, and frankly, it doesn't, you know, the fact that it's watertight, that's the important thing, right? So we, we kind of ran out of time. We haven't put that piece back on. We're just gonna kind of tape that for the night so that water doesn't get in there. But we got it all clean, so tomorrow we'll be able to put some butyl on there and that'll look nice. Like what a nice, it's golden hour. It's nice right now, huh? So that job took a, a while and it's not perfect, but it's definitely better than it was. So we've had it on our list for weeks and I know yeah. It's been stressing you out. It's been stressing right? me out. So this is good. I mean, ultimately I feel much better. You know, you can see some of the butyl is squishing out here. We had to put a ton in this corner because the alignment was weird. So we'll clean all this up, obviously, you know, and and then we'll lexel these joints and it'll it'll look good. Be all right. All right, that's it for today, Saturday. We are starving. And we'll hit it again tomorrow, huh? Yep. Okay, signing off. <laughs>
have been wanting to bug get rid of these awning things because they just looked really gross and there's I think there's some you know they've done some kind of weird voodoo with some of this stuff and it just seems like there's causing them you know potential for some leaks etc but we figured since it was a nice day that we'd clean them and see how they clean up it's kind of hard to see right now because it's now in the shade but they actually look really cool I think you know and with the color that we're planning to paint the bottom of this, I think it'll look kind of cheeky, you know? Megan's up here scrubbing away. There's these two little ones on this side, and then there's a jumbo one on the other side. We've never pulled it out, so we don't even know what it looks like, or if it works, TBD on that. But we got these clean, so that's nice. All right, so yeah, Megan's got this going. We're kind of about to paint in my nose. We're kind of about to wrap the day up, I think. Pretty soon we're gonna have to start cleaning up and going in for dinner stuff, but we'll give you a little recap of what we did. So we got this piece, as you saw, we took both of these front pieces off. We got this one back on, nicely cleaned. We've got a bunch of butyl. You can see it's all squeezing out the side, which is fine. We're just gonna leave that because I've noticed that it'll kind of continue to squeeze out over, you know, a week or two. So we're gonna leave that and then at some point here pretty soon when it's kind of dry and we know it's kind of squeezed out as much as it's going to, we'll trim all that back and then it'll get a nice bead of Lexel there. So this actually is looking good. Well, I mean, it looks terrible, but it's looking much better than it did, frankly. We've got this other side prepped and we have the, other, the metal trim piece cleaned and we got the butyl on there. We just haven't installed it yet. I kind of wanted to just tear this whole thing off and throw it in Lester's dumpster right there because otherwise I don't know how we'd get rid of this thing. It's so gosh darn big. It's like 20 feet long. I did a second coat of rubber in our little porch light alcove. Here's the color we're thinking for the, the side. Aperitivo hour. Kind of cool vibe, right? Inside, oh yeah, look at this. It's kind of gold on it. Megan painted the bathroom ceiling, primed it, two coats of primer. We've got wallpaper on order for the bathroom. We're gonna wallpaper those walls. So that's looking good. I've got kill mat installed down there for the water heater. We did a little, this is just a little test. This is I think what we're wanting to do in all of these, these openings here is this kind of like bamboo rattan. Obviously this is just a temporary test and in the heat it kind of came unstuck, but I think that'll look pretty, I think that'll look pretty slick, huh? Cool, that's it for this weekend. I think we're shutting her down. We'll see you next weekend.